Hello, thank you for coming back to our latest interview. This is with Mark Stephen Terry. He uh, works here in San Diego County. Um, so, what sort of projects do you have going on now? Right now, um, I have going on a project called Summer Celebrations in San Diego, um, which we are covering uh, annual summertime public events that happen around the San Diego region. Things such as uh, street fairs, um, uh, cultural festivals, um, both events that are free and events that also um, have some paid admission to them. Now when you say covering, how are you covering them? What we're doing is uh, I, along with uh, other people uh, on my crew, such as people recording sound, people recording second camera, and uh, people on camera to do uh, the role of hosts and hostesses. Uh, we're going to these events and we are basically shooting uh, material at the events where their hosts and hostesses are talking to people there, talking to vendors at the events, artists, cultural performers, people from the public walking around, okay. and asking them, how are you enjoying this event? What's your role at this event? Why do you think these kind of events are important for San Diego? How is this kind of art important to you? How does it make you a better person? What impact does it have on the world? Things like that. And trying to do that um, um, in terms of uh, what I'm recording with the camera, how I'm recording it, trying to make it as visually beautiful as I can on a very limited budget. All right, all right. And then do you, where do you put, you put it on YouTube or? So far, all we've done so far are shooting apart from, we've done a small trailer of our first event, Fiesta del Sol on Solana Beach. Um, and that is on summercelebrationssd.com. So, so it's summer celebrations and then an extra sd after celebrations.com. So one long word. Yes, one long word. Okay, cool. Um, what are your future projects? Well, my future projects are finishing up summer celebrations in San Diego. We'll be shooting three more events in September. At the end of September, we'll stop our shooting and we'll go into post production with. Uh, going through our material. Hopefully I can get some other people who are interested in editing to help me because as I'm sure you know, editing is a real time commitment, something like this. We'll be putting those on summercelebrationssd.com and uh, promoting it very heavily on social media through the Facebook group Summer Celebrations in San Diego. Okay, cool. Um, what have you done in the past for that? Um, do you mean by in the past uh, other pro similar projects or things? Yes. Yeah. So um, in the past I've done uh, short documentaries and promotional videos for uh, Rancho Santa Marta. Rancho Santa Marta is a uh, non-profit school and orphanage in San Vicente, Baja, California, okay. which is, um, um, it's, it's run from a Christian perspective, so um, churches around California, Washington, and Oregon support it. And uh, I had the good fortune of uh, going there for a week, shooting material, and working with the propri proprietors there and also their office in San Diego and um, basically creating promotional materials for them. So is that something that's available to the public or do they just use it for the, what they use it for? They're going to use it uh, for their own their own advertising purposes. Okay. Um, it's still got a, a couple weeks left to finish, got a couple other things to do with it. Once, um, you know, once it gets the okay on them, I will definitely ask them if I can share with the public and I, I think they'll be fine with it because that just brings some more promotion. Yeah, it's as you mentioned, I do editing. It's, it's amazing how much more time is spent on editing and getting it right after the shooting. You know? It is definitely. It can be very meticulous too. Like sometimes I'll find myself enlarging uh, a frame up to 400 percent, looking at certain parts of just the frame, thinking, "I need to fix this. I need to bring this frame into Photoshop. I need to do a matte drawing." And put and mm -hmm. you know, it's a lot of work. Um, and you also have a graphic business. What's what's the name of it? What do you do? Um, it's called Fern Leaf Media. The Fern Leaf symbol is an important symbol in New Zealand, where I've lived for quite a lot of the last 10 years, although I am from San Diego. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to honor my experiences and memory of that by incorporating that name and design into um, kind of a, it's not a formalized business yet. Um, I'm still in the process of monetizing it. Mm -hmm. But now it's really just a place for me to put um, information about what I can do for people, what I would charge them and also um, as a portfolio for some of the things I've done, such as uh, video and film production, uh, website design, designing uh, different kinds of still graphics or doing things in Photoshop. Okay. I've seen some of your work. You did pretty good. Thank you very much. Yeah. So in all these projects that you've done, um, are there, can you tell us about the people you've met? 
So I've met a lot of interesting people over the last year where I've really been uh, doing this more for full time, um, going towards it as a career. Um, I've met lots of wonderful people here in San Diego, uh, such as uh, you may know some of them. Uh, Kathleen Scott, mm -hmm. who has been in some of my projects. I'm a student right now at UCSD Extension, video film production, finishing up in a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, she has been very helpful in being in some of my uh, student productions, as well as her two daughters, uh, Christina and Kara. They've both been very helpful. Mm -hmm. wonderful. Uh, Lori Morkunis jones has been more than exceptionally friendly and giving of her time and talents, both as right. an actress and things I've done, and as also like, like a PA on set, helping me with things like um, uh, having people sign releases or you know being like a... Uh, What's it called? People who carry bags around. Um, right. You know, you know, things like that. The crew. The crew, yeah. And, yeah, for those who don't know a PA, that's production assistant. Yeah. So, anybody else? Um, and we have a lot of actors yeah. and crew here in San Quite Diego. Quite a bit, yeah. Krista Naomi Garcia, another wonderful lady. She's, uh, she'll be in our episode, our Summer Celebrations episode for City Fest and City Heights. So, look for her because she's awesome. Um, who else has been really great? Let's see. Um, and it's hard to remember Anthony them all. Anthony Cox. Yeah. yeah, yeah. There's uh, and as I'm uh, looking at things people put on Facebook and such, um, I keep finding many of the same people seem to be kind of everywhere and lots of things, and it's very much feels like that in San Diego, people involved in video film production, the acting side, the technical side, also are very much part of an uh, part of an extended family and welcoming to people like me. Mm -hmm. who coming into this didn't know anyone and uh, helping us, you know, to learn the ropes and get involved with people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of groups in town. It's, you know, between Jody's Consortium and yeah. San Diego Filmmakers Groups. I mean, there's many groups around. There are, yeah. Yeah, just go on Facebook and you can find, yeah, I know of at least 20. Oh, right, wow. But it's, it's, a, it's a good group. Yeah. Um, anything else you want to, like, why do you enjoy doing this, or what you would like to learn to do, or? Well, uh, previously, when I lived in Aotearoa, New Zealand, Aotearoa being the Maori name for New Zealand, I was a kaiko uh, tamariki, uh, sorry, I'm going to say it again, a um, uh, uh, kura tamariki, a primary uh, elementary school teacher. Oh, okay. And uh, I did that off and on. I had several challenges in trying to stay in that career field, none of which, it wasn't really things emanating for me, it was more just random things that happened. Mm -hmm. So because of that, I, I decided to come back to San Diego and focus on this, because I've done this a lot as a hobby. Mm -hmm. And even though it was not, I did not have a huge motivation to go into the industry, and still I don't like there's many people who want to get to the top, which for them is Hollywood. Okay. That's not my desire at all. I, I don't want to go anywhere near them. It's not, I don't mind people who do. I don't dislike them. It's just not me. And um, so I think for my future, we developing these skills that I'm doing right now. Mm -hmm. And I'd like to uh, go back into uh, teaching and teaching related to a context such as this. Um, I've got ideas for, I thought it would be great to develop a curriculum for family media class. Mm -hmm. To teach, uh, you know, parents and parent people who soon be parents, the very specific ins and outs of taking photos and videos uh, correctly and properly, and editing, creating multimedia presentations and videos and stuff of their kids. Because I see many people, like go myself on the screen, demonstrate. I see many people hit the record function to get video like mm -hmm. this, and I cringe. I absolutely cringe whenever I see that because it's vertical video, oh, basically. Right. Taking a photo, a portrait photo like this, where it's tall, taller than wider, no problem. But I see many people take videos like that, and in the professional world, has anyone ever seen a film where it's oriented as portrait? Right. And um, yeah, you see that on YouTube a lot, where there's yeah. the, the black borders on the side because they filmed it that way. Right. Yeah, and I see people taking, you know, photos and videos of. You know their children and their children's memories things that they'll never get back it's a one-time thing you can only get it once and then I, I often think five or ten years from now will anyone 
will anyone look at that or will people enjoy watching it because of how it's oriented? Right. And I, it also yeah. changes the context of the picture. It does, yes. Because it, it's, even though your focus is on your child, uh -huh. you've limited all the background. You know, like if they're at a party, if you do a landscape wide, you can see like the environment they're running around and it gives it a lot better context. Very true, true. yes, it does, yeah. yeah. And I'd like to go back to, uh, at some point to New Zealand and focus on that perhaps um, start out having, you know, having a job in, you know, this sort of career field, but in New Zealand, mm -hmm. because, you know, like I said, LA is not for me, the frenetic pace of it, it just doesn't suit me. New Zealand is much more calm and laid back. And in the capital city of Wellington, there is a lot of film and media work that's mm -hmm. been going on the last several years with things like Weta Digital, uh, did a lot of work on Lord of the Rings. Mm -hmm. And that's growing a growing industry in New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. Lord of the Rings made everybody fall out of New Zealand. <laughs> fall in love. It, it, it just, did, yes. Some of the panoramic views are just astonishing. Yeah. You know. Um, okay. Anything else? Um uh, well I guess just for whoever watches this, just wanna say a shout out to everyone who has helped me to, to be successful in what I'm doing right now. And um, Shooting, editing, filming. Shout out to Jody Silly, Chris and Naomi Garcia, Mark Anthony Cox, Lori Marcunas Jones, Kathleen Scott, Mark Benjamin, and I know there's all sorts of many other people too. Some people in my class: Eleanor Castro, Brian Mahoney, uh, Mike Peterson, Ali Lennox, um, and everyone else in my class too. That um, everyone has been great. And just uh, if there's anything that I can do for any of you guys mentioned by name or anyone else. Um, just let me know, uh, Mark Steven Terry on Facebook or Fernleaf Media on Facebook or uh, my email address, info at fernleafmedia.com. Um, uh, you know, as uh, long as your uh, project doesn't contain, you know, any sort of uh, specific images with specific parts of people's bodies or, you know, like that, that sort of stuff, as long keep, as it's fine. Keep it clean. Family friendly. Clean. Keep it clean. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I'd be interested in, in knowing what you're doing and possibly helping you. So thank you very much, everyone. Thank you so much, Douglas. Sure. Yeah. Okay, that's Mark Stephen Terry. He's a uh, community is pretty busy here in San Diego. He's another person to check out. And thank you all very much for tuning in for this interview, and have a good day.